Good morning, my name is Brian. I'm the owner operator here at Boathouse Smokers down in South Louisiana. I have a pit on the showroom floor this morning. I don't think we've ever done a video on, so uh, let's take a look at it. This is our vertical reverse flow offset cabinet. Uh, this is the XL model, which means it's 27 wide by 24 deep. Uh, the standard model, you can get this in 24 wide uh, by 20 inches deep. Uh, footprint on this guy is about 50 inches wide, clear. And when I say clear, I mean that's the spot that you need clear to put it in because you got handles sticking off and then you have the latches on the uh, firebox in and then on the back side you have the ball valves and the front side you have the big shelf so that that's about the patio space required uh, to put this guy in if you're looking for a, a smaller footprint that has a lot of uh, square inches of cook space uh, this guy actually has more square inches of cook space uh, than our 48 inch horizontal uh, it's fabricated from quarter inch steel a double wall quarter inch on the fire blocks with an inch and a half of insulation. It has the big half inch thick door. Uh, it has the big eight inch casters. It has the rigid casters on the firebox side, the swivels on the other end. Um, it is fairly easy to move around on hard surfaces. And this thing weighs about 1,100 pounds. So you're not gonna push it across the grass or nothing like that. But as far as pushing around your patio, one person is no problem. It has uh, four racks inside the main chamber. Um, the racks measure 26 uh, by 23. And uh, let's take a look at the inside of this guy. All right, it has the compression latches on both the cook chamber and the firebox door. Uh, seals up really, really good. Um, now look, I don't have any gaskets on this thing yet. It do, they do all come with gaskets. I just hadn't put any on this thing yet. It just came out of paint. Uh, here's your four racks. You have four racks. <laughs> inside the main chamber. And like I said, these, these racks measure 26 wide by 23 deep. Uh, capacity on this guy, I don't know. I don't like to jam my stuff up. You could probably fit three briskets, briskets uh, you know, per rack if you wanted to. Uh, this guy is a reverse flow design. If you look down in the bottom, you can see that baffle plate down there. And we do something a little bit different with this design. Uh, with, with the big horizontals, you know, when you got a 48 or a 60 inch horizontal, you got a lot of room for this, this, this you know, this heat to flow. And it's got a little bit of time to cool off before it comes up into the main chamber. Well, the shorter, you know, the shorter the distance is, uh, the hotter that's gonna be when it comes into your main chamber. And a lot of times uh, in our older models of this, you had th this spot right here was a really, really, really hot spot. So you couldn't cook, no cook nothing on it. You had to put like a water pan or something like that. So what we did, if you look down in the bottom, we actually hinged uh, our reverse flow baffle plate down there. What that does, it, you can open it up uh, for cleaning purposes. And, and when you're running it, you can leave it closed and that way it, it pushes all the heat to the exterior right here. So you, can get, you got a little bit more usable space right here on this end. Uh, and just like our other ones, uh, that baffle plate does a couple of things. You know, it lets the heat uh, come under the baffle plate and releases it on the under end of the chamber. But it also uh, works as a grease funnel. Catches all your grease as it drips down. They gravity feed down to this end into that grease trap. And then you have a ball valve on the outside uh, where you can drain it for easy disposal. All right, let's uh, back up and look at it. And let's take a look inside the firebox. All right, we got the compression latches. Get a look at that door, that half inch thick door. That comes standard on all of our offset cookers. Uh, doesn't cost anything extra. The half inch door is standard. Uh, inside the firebox, you have a little removable wood rack. It slides in and out for easy disposal. Uh, you can see the double wall quarter inch with the inch and a half insulation. On the back side, uh, you have ball valves. We always use brass ball valves for our air intakes. You know, we get asked all the time, so man, well, that's a very expensive way <laughs> for an air intake, but we just find that we used to do the old slide met methods or the pinwheel method, and we just found that over time it just failed. It gummed up and it just, the door failed to slam and you had to use a hammer to open and close it. So I've never had a ball valve fail on me. Uh, although as a stick burner, you're never gonna close these. You know, you want as much air possible getting into that uh, into that firebox as possible. And as a matter of fact, whenever I cook, I cook with my door cracked just about like that. 
Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if anybody needs any more information on this, uh, you can reach out to us on all of our social media. You can reach us on Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and TikTok. I uh, hope everybody has a great day, and we'll uh, catch you next time.